I rarely say this. I rarely say this, but I'm giving you permission right now to go out and purchase at least two warriors. In Battletech, um, there are a number of units that in my mind, yes, we have our own play style. Yes, we have our favorite units. But there are certain units, both both mech and combined arms, that I just think you're always going to find a really good use for. And it's it's this triple threat of battle value is, is low or perfect. Tactical use is really, really good. And no matter what the mission is, you're going to find a place for it in your lance, in, in your build. Warriors, attack helicopters, absolutely. So I'm giving you permission right now to go out and purchase two warriors. Uh, we are following up on a comment here because certainly I pushed out some warrior tactica uh, along with the Karnov and, and other key air support type vehicles that work really, really well in Battletech with a lance. Uh, that exact tactica is up in the Battletech playlist if you're new to my channel and underneath the blog link we talk more about Warriors, but the question was dealing with warriors, AC twos, AC fives. Um, h- how do you deal with these attack helicopters? And this is this is kind of an interesting choice because it's not really a right answer. I'm thinking the best way to capture this tactica, the warriors are really not that much of a threat. And what you find is if you have mechs you will be sinking, yes, they get hit with like one decent hit on a mech, a couple of AC-5s and AC-10 or a long-range 20-pack, uh, the warrior is just going to explode on there. I mean, we'll, we'll see where the damage gets transferred, but it's just going to get exploded on there. But the battle value buy-in is nothing. But the warrior is actually very, very, very hard to hit because it not only has massive speed, but also it can have the elevation stay high up and then at the last minute literally drop down. Anti-vertical, the opposite of vertical, um, drop down on there. So what you find is if you're shooting at a warrior with mechs, you're going to have to put in a lot of work, a lot of firepower, um, more dice, more weapons shooting just to take this warrior out of the sky. If Now, if the warrior is just flying by itself and it's way ahead of, of your attack group, your lance, yeah, you shoot everything at it. But if the rest of my lance is right there, then why would you want to shoot three or four or five, six things on a mech or a combination of mechs and maybe score a hit on the warrior when you are at close enough range that more or less you will hit the other mechs? So in that capacity, shooting at a warrior um, done correctly... It's, it's just a, a bullet, missile, laser, magnet on there. I mean, you might get lucky for a shot. So the proper thing to take it down, um, I really don't want mechs. I don't want to use my mechs to take that down. Now, if I can take a, a partisan tank, I've also pushed up tactics on the partisan. A partisan is a quad AC5. There's a couple other variants out there. It's got a lot of DACA, low battle value, good range, ballistic type tank. Something like that is perfect for swatting warriors. Um, another warrior is perfect for swatting warriors. There's a lot of other things that I would look um, from the perspective of not utilizing my mechs. If I, if I can do my best, if I have no other option, that's how it is. But if I can do my best, I want my mechs shooting at mechs. I want my support vehicles, maybe like a partisan or other things, shooting at the warrior. Uh, but even stuff that... This is where things get interesting. Even stuff that might be ideal for taking out a warrior, a lot can happen in a turn of battle tech. Um, if I have a long-range missile 20 carrier, I could probably swat a warrior with that. Um, I might need 8s, 10s to hit, maybe 12s. But if it takes two or three turns to swat that warrior, you know, a 20-pack, I just need to really connect once. I, I want to shoot those LRM 20s on the LRM carrier at mechs, directly, indirectly. I want to utilize it to attack vehicles. I don't want to waste. So there's some uh, dedicated support vehicles that are very potent. I don't want to waste them on warriors. So I don't really want to shoot with warriors against um, non-warriors. That's so much of the tactica. If I was going to shoot at a warrior with mechs, then I, I, I want to try and cut down on as many the modifiers that I can. So a uh, warrior is flying. Uh, it's not really going to drop behind my battle master because it's got rear lasers on there. You know, it the, the drops down like behind one of my other mechs. That's, 
I, I guess what I'm saying is tactically, I would, would want you to do what you're going to do with the warrior to drop down to get close. Yeah, you're going to get rear armor. Um, maybe even on a light mech, that's going to be a problem because you can counter. Uh, I can't counter the speed, but you can counter the range. At least at that point, once that warrior's down there, it has the speed traveled. But it's going to be taking away the range in hexes, and it's going to be taking away the range in elevation. It's at least that's the best chance, and that best chance might even be on an eight plus. That's when I would want to concentrate fire. But if the warrior's moving in at the beginning, um, if there's no other targets, yes, I'll shoot. But otherwise, I want to kind of conserve and see.